Hi, welcome to Key Factor Community. I'm Sven, and today I'm going to walk you through installing Micro K8 on Alma Linux. So let's hop into what we're going to do. So we're going to have a server we're going to SSH to. It's a VM I already have up and running. We're going to log in, and then I'm going to kick off the script to actually make the commands go a little bit easier than copy and pasting one by one. So what we're going to do first is set the host name of the server and then update the Etsy host file. Then we're going to disable SE Linux upon reboot and then actually set it to permissive for now. You could leave it permissive, but that could require a little more troubleshooting. So for testing like this, we'll leave it at permissive. Then we're gonna disable firewall D and then stop the service as well. Then we're going to install the Apple library. That way we can install SnapD next. We'll end up installing SnapD with JQ for a little JSON querying down the road. And this will load. All right, so the packages install like that. Then we're going to do enable the snap service. We're going to create a symlink, and now you see we typed that command too early. It takes anywhere from 10, I've found 10 seconds to a minute, I found, if we get that error. So we'll wait like this, and then we'll retype the command to start installing micro K8 with classic mode. Waiting, waiting, waiting. All right, so then it starts loading. It's going to do all the downloading it needs to do and then get the micro kates installed so then we'll be able to do some of the post configuration there we go that wraps up the install of the micro kates now we're going to source the snapd file we're going to add our user group to the micro kates group and then at this point, we add our, we change groups now to the micro kates, and we're going to kick off the second part of the script. We'll create a cube directory in our home directory. We'll make sure we're the owner of it. We'll CD into there, and then we're going to copy the micro k config into a config file in there. That will come in handy down the road. We'll CD back up to our home directory. And then we're going to check the namespaces of what we've got running. Notice how we don't have very much. And now we'll actually enable the DNS, ingress, host pass storage. We'll add Helm and get these guys to load. So this is going to launch a bunch of containers in the background. And then after that, we're going to enable the metal LB. So that will give us external access so anything outside of the kubernetes environment here could actually enroll off of egbc as well so this part takes a few seconds for the completion to load and then we're going to look at the last few of the containers that we have we're going to actually enable helm sorry about that we're going to add the helm in and we make an alias for it that we can use it from the command line. And then we'll take a look at all the containers we have left are running. And now we've got all the services up. So at this point, we're ready to go to the next video that we'll do on how to deploy EGBCA community into our micro environment now. Thank you and come see the next video.